Beep, beep, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day today. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Uh, I haven't done one of these um, recaps of things that I've bought for the past month or so. I think this one is going all the way back to the beginning of September. Uh, I had a number of different antique mall trips. Um, and that took up a good deal of time. And uh, we have a new puppy dog. Um so that's taking up a lot of time. So I haven't gotten around to doing a, a recap where I go over the things I've bought off of eBay and uh, antique malls that I did not film. Uh, plus the website, the card swap. Um, so we're going to do that in this video. And this one's probably going to be a long one because I bought a couple rather larger sized lots of some vintage stuff and going through... Um, I guess it might come out to a couple hundred cards here. Uh, so we're going to start off with what I bought at the card swap. And if you've never been to the card swap, uh, give them a visit. Uh, they do sell singles, but I think they also do breaks and things. I have never gotten myself involved with breaks, but here's their uh, business card. So check out their website. I'll try to remember to put a link down below. Um, no guarantees. I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants lately. Um, so check that out. And this is what I got there. I, they were having, I think a 30% off sale. Um, so I'm going to give you the sale prices. I got a 2023 Donruss etched in glory, uh, Joe Morgan card. Uh, this was $2.10. Uh, I don't think that's numbered, but I thought it was pretty neat looking. I've never seen these before. Uh, 1961 Topps Hank Bauer. This I got for $2.80. Looks in pretty good shape. Uh, there's a little bit of wear on on all four corners, but a pretty nicely uh, presented card from back in the day. And I didn't have it, so I thought that was a good deal. Uh, 2022 Stadium Club uh, Chrome Green Refractor of Juan Soto. Uh, this one is numbered uh, right up here. 33 out of 99 got that for six dollars and 30 cents uh, this was the most expensive card i bought in this uh in this purchase this is a 2022 tops chrome platinum fuchsia atomic refractor for cal ripkin jr pretty cool looking i really like that that kind of diamond effect it has on it and this one is numbered nine out of a hundred and i spent twelve dollars and sixty cents on that Again, that was 30% off of the regular price. Uh, Tops Gallery Blue Foil of Beau Bichette from 2022. This one is numbered uh, 6 out of 75. Got that for $6.30. And the last card I bought was this Justin Verlander from 2022 Tops Chrome Platinum. This is the Gold Wave uh, Parallel. Pretty cool looking. It's numbered on the back, 23 out of 50. That I got for $8.40, again, 30% off. And along with that, um, I assume Aaron sent along some free cards, which uh, I thank you very much, Aaron, for doing that. I very much appreciate that. We got some of the new 2022 Topps Chrome Platinum cards here, Bo Bichette, uh, Felix Hernandez, and uh, a Bowman Chrome card, iconic. I've never heard of that for Juan Soto. This one dates also from 2023. So that was pretty cool. Thanks a lot, Aaron. Uh, he also sent along a Topps Fire Bryce Harper. This is one I did not have. Uh, this is from 2016. So I didn't have any Topps Fire from that far back. And the last card was this uh, Bowman Chrome from 2018 of Brian Miller. This is a green um, refractor, number nine out of 99. I'm not sure who Brian Miller is. I'll have to look him up. So I got all those from the card swap. And again, uh, there's their website address at the bottom of the business card. They also have, uh, you can follow them on multiple uh, social media websites. Uh, so go ahead and do that and check them out. Uh, I usually buy something from them about once a month or so. Sometimes I miss a month here and there. Uh, the next thing we're going to go over is stuff I bought at Big Valley Antiques in Milroy, Pennsylvania. Uh, I think the next time I go there, I might actually do a filming if I have the time. I, I've been putting that off for quite some time. 
Uh, we got a, uh, what is this? Uh, Tops Heart of the Order from 20... Can't make that out. Looks like 2015. This is Ken Griffey Jr. Got this for two bucks. Pretty cool looking photo with the bats and stuff. Uh, Evan Longoria, uh, Diamond Stars. This was an insert from 2011 Tops. That was two dollars. I don't think I got too good of a deal with these. Uh, Chase Utley Gold from 2015. Uh, that was two bucks. Um, that's numbered 572 at out of 2015. We got an Allen and Ginter 2017 card of Bryce Harper for a dollar. Uh, another Allen and Ginter one. Uh, sorry about the hair. <laughs> uh, numbers game dollar for Buster Posey. That one dates from 2016. Uh, Stan Musial from Topps Archives 2001 on the 1963 design. Got that one for a dollar. That's what the back of that looks like. And um, those were all from one particular seller. We're moving on to another seller now. Uh, these were from their dollar bin. Uh, Dave Winfield from uh, 2022 Panini Capstone. Uh, Deja Vu. Uh, Winfield and Aaron Judge. So got that for a buck. Here's another one from that set. That's Spencer Torkelson rookie card. That's a dollar. Um, here's Spencer Strider rookie card. Also from Capstone. That was a dollar. Uh, Adley Rushman. This is uh, Topps. Um, uh, what do you call that? Pro debut. Uh, this is from 2022. Got that for a dollar. Uh, Jazz Chisholm rated rookie from Donruss Optic. Uh, that was from 2021. That was a dollar. Uh, Greg Maddox. This is a uh, purple hollow parallel from 2023 Donruss, I believe. Yep. That was a dollar. Uh, Cal Raleigh. This is from Topps Gold Label. This is his rookie card. That was a dollar. Uh, 2022. Uh, another 2023, this is Robin Young. I think this is the, the I don't, I'm not sure what this is, Carolina Blue or something parallel. That was a dollar. Uh, Johnny Bench, um, Purple Hollow from the Diamond Kings portion of the same set. That was a dollar. Uh, Jason Dominguez, this is the, uh, I think, a Carolina Blue um, Hollow. Uh, that's also from 2023. That's a dollar. He just made his debut this year. We got a purple hollow of Eddie Murray from, I think this is also 2023. I don't know why I'm getting confused about that, but I'm just losing my mind, I guess. That's a dollar. Uh, purple hollow from the same set, Randy Johnson for a buck. Another dollar card, this is Lance Berkman. This is a purple hollow, uh, also from that same uh, set. Uh, Paul Paul Goldschmidt, this is a Donruss Dominators insert. Uh, that's from 2022, and I don't know what that's called, a vector parallel or square thing, so I don't know what you want to call that. That's a dollar. Uh, Stand the Man, that's a name variation. This is from 2022 uh, Donruss. Uh, this is also an orange hollow. That was a dollar. Uh, Babe Ruth, this is from Unleashed, an insert set from 2022 Donruss. Um, not sure what the crisscross things. It might be the vector parallel. I'm not sure. That was a dollar. Uh, Francisco Lindor, Lindor from Panini Mosaic. This is a red hollow parallel. Uh, that's from 2021. That was a buck. I like going through dollar bins. <laughs> Team of the Future Stadium Club. This is an insert set. I think this might be a red, uh, a red parallel of some sort. Jordan Alvarez. That was a dollar. That's not numbered. Uh, Justin Verlando. This is a Mojo, um, probably from the Silver Packs on the 1984 Tops design. This was a dollar. That's from 2019. Uh, Mike Trout, uh, I'm not sure what this this is. Uh, World Baseball Classic from 2023 Tops. Uh, that's a dollar. I, I haven't hadn't seen any of those during my few openings of 2023. Uh, this is a X Fractor from 2023 uh, Chrome. Uh, Nick Castellanos for a dollar. And we got the Alec Bohm also from that set for a dollar. 
Jose Ramirez for a dollar, uh, Alex Bregman for a dollar, uh, Jordan Alvarez. This is from 2023 um, Topps Big League. Um, later numbers in the set had these uh, were kind of in a different format than the base. I think the base went to 250, and then after that, the numbered cards had uh, blue and some other different colors. This one's a dollar. Uh, this is an insert from that same set of Hank Aaron. I forget what the what this is called, but it's numbered BL30. Got that for a dollar. I thought it was a pretty cool looking design. Um, Tops Chrome. I don't remember what this is called. P-13, but this is from 2022 Tops Chrome. One of the inserts. This is of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Got that for a dollar. Neat, neat looking card. Uh, Ryan Mountcastle from Youth Quake insert from Topps Chrome. This is from 2022. Got that for a dollar. Uh, Charlie Blackman from 2022 um, Tops. This is an X Fractor. Got that for a dollar. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr. This is a rookie debut, rookie card thing or whatever you want to call it from 2022 Topps Chrome. I didn't have this one. Pretty cool photo. Uh, he had quite a good season this year. Uh, I don't remember what these are called. I have a couple other ones of these. Um, Tops Chrome. I don't remember what the DGC stands for. I think it's like uh, some kind of die cut thing, even though the card does not appear to be cut like a die cut. But whatever. Uh, this is Nolan Ryan for a dollar. And Ty Cobb from the same thing for a dollar. Eric Davis, this is... a. Uh, a refractor from 2022 Topps Chrome Platinum. Got that for a buck. Uh, Titans, Topps Chrome. I guess this is an insert uh, set from 2023. This is Bryce Harper. And I got the one for Bo Bichette for a dollar. Uh, this seller also had a $3 bin. So I got this uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card from Ascension which is a Panini product from 2019. That was three bucks. Uh, Matt Olson rookie card. Um, that's the regular one from the Topps base set. That was three bucks. He had such an amazing year this year. I thought I'd better get his rookie card if I can find it. Uh, Stadium Club rookie card of Fernando Tatis Jr. That's three bucks. Not sure what that's going for nowadays. Uh, Jake Berger rookie card from Bowman's Best. This is... Um, Numbered, uh, can't quite make that out. 150, 159 out of 250. This is, I, I think, as a purple uh, refractor. Got that for three bucks. Uh, Pete Alonso, rookie card from Bowman Platinum. That's three bucks. Uh, this is Giancarlo Stanton's rookie card from Bowman Platinum for three bucks. Back then, he was using the name Mike. I think he did that for two seasons, and then he asked everyone to use his real name, which is Giancarlo. I think Michael is his middle name. Uh, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. We got a gold foil uh, rookie card of Alec Bohm from Topps Fire. That was three bucks. That was that's not numbered. And also the key Brian Hayes rookie card from the same set as a gold foil for three bucks. Uh, Adley Rushman rookie card from Topps Chrome. I didn't buy uh, any 2023 Topps Chrome myself, so the only stuff I get is usually in subscription boxes, just a pack here or there. I don't plan on buying any of it, so I thought I'd pick this up for three bucks. His rookie card and the Corbin Carroll rookie card also from the same set for three bucks. I thought that was pretty fair deals for those. Uh, from the same antique mall, uh, I did buy this uh, classic uh, first round draft picks of 1990 that has Chipper Jones on the front. I don't think this is worth a whole lot. Uh, as you can see on the back, it's numbered 23,704 out of 150,000 back in the junk wax era. That was a big deal. Today, it is not so much of a big deal, and that's probably why they're so cheap. But I thought I'd pick that up for five bucks. I didn't have that card. Uh, this is a, what is this called? Um, I don't remember. Some kind of Pacific card company. It's not the same one that makes the Pacific sets. And I, uh, what do they call these? Bruder or something like that? It's, these, these were not, um, not legal issues. Um, I guess I'll try opening up and show you a little bit closer what we're talking about here. Um, let's be careful. 
And, uh, yeah, it says it right here. Pacific Cards and Comics, Los Angeles, California. So this was not a legal issue from back in the day, and there were a lot of these out there at the time. Um, they're mostly named after a photographer that was uh, trying to showcase his photography by making baseball cards. And uh, Mattingly, a couple Mark Graces, David Cohn, Dwight Gooden, Will Clark, Ricky Henderson, another Mattingly, Brett and Strawberry on a card, Greg Jeffries, Jose Canseco, Jose Canseco, Mark McGuire, Daryl Strawberry, um, and Andy Vance like. And this is the complete set um, issued in 1989 by Pacific Cards and Comics. Again, not a legitimate issue from back in the day. Basically, I guess you could just call it an unlicensed issue. Uh, that was uh, just three bucks, so I thought I'd pick it up. I also picked up this 1990 score rookie and traded uh, sealed factory box for five bucks. I know these probably go cheaper, but I don't have it. And I was like, well, why not? I'm not going to argue. I'll just grab this for five bucks. No big whoop. Um, let's go over eBay. All this stuff right here is from eBay. I bought a lot of stuff from there. Uh, these two stacks are lots. Uh, these are the singles. Um, I wrote down some of these things so I wouldn't forget exactly what they were and how much I paid for them. Uh, this was a recent arrival. This is from the uh, 2016 60th Anniversary Tops Buyback. And what they do is they buy back these old cards. I don't know exactly who or from where they buy them, but this is an actual 1978 Tops card that they stamped 65th Anniversary. And I'm not sure if the 2016s uh, have this in different colors, but I know in 2017 they were issued in different colors and the, uh, based on the color is how, how rare it was. And I think it, it ranged from bronze being the cheapest to red being the rarest. This looks like it's in black, so I don't know if they did any different colors of this. And nothing was done to the back. I bought that for $1.99. I'm a IPC Larry Christensen because uh, I follow the... Uh, the early 80s uh, Phillies from back when I was a, a youngster and saw I PC all the Phillies players from back then. And so I saw this one. I was like, $1.99 is a pretty good deal for this. Uh, they tend to go for, I don't know, $3 on up. And some of the um, more pricier, more well-known stars and Hall of Famers, sometimes I've, I've seen them priced at like 10 going up to $50, $60, depending on, I guess, the color of what was stamped on them. So just a little bit of... <laughs> stuff about that I, I might look into getting some more of those down the road this is a carbon carol rookie card from tops now this is uh second fastest to 20 homers and 20 steals in american league and i guess it says national league history uh so that that is probably one of the more unusual rookie cards for him tops now issues cards daily and they're only available for 24 hours to order off their website uh, they normally go for $9.99 each. Uh, I bought this off of eBay for $4. Uh, so some sellers can buy these on in uh, in bulk from Tops, and uh, they, they get to you know sell them on eBay at a discount and sort of like undercutting Tops. Uh, another Corbin Carroll rookie, this one is celebrating his 25 homer, reaching 20, the first um, rookie to reach 25 homers and 50 steals. So I thought I'd pick that up. Uh, he's likely to be the Hall of Fame or <laughs> the rookie of the, the, the rookie of the year this year. <laughs> Hall of Famer. What am I talking about? Anyway, this this one I got for four dollars and fifty cents. And like I said on the Tops website, that was nine ninety nine. This is Julio Rodriguez becoming the fourth player with a thirty thirty uh, season by the age of twenty two. He's here photographed with that. Um, uh, I forget what that thing's called. The uh, Greek god Neptune had one of them. <laughs> Let's not harp on that for too long. I got that one for five bucks. Uh, this is a black border parallel of uh, Bichette and Guerrero Jr. from 2023. This is numbered uh, 66 out of 72. Uh, I paid $14 for that one. I don't. I might have overpaid for that. Uh, the red foil 
uh, kind of like an icy kind of thing going here. This is the RBI League leaders with Judge, Ramirez, and Tucker on it. This is numbered uh, 114 out of 199. I paid 10 bucks for that. Uh, here's a really low numbered card. This is from 2015 Panini Cooperstown. This is the green parallel. This is Joe Morgan, and it is numbered two out of ten. And I got that for eight bucks. Also from the same set, this time the red parallel. This is Stan Musial. That is numbered uh, 21 out of 35. Try to get that on screen. Pardon the glare. Uh, that one cost me six bucks. Uh, Burt Bly Levin Aldo from 2021 Tops Platinum Chrome Anniversary. Uh, I think this is the blue, um, maybe mini diamond or something like that. Not sure what it's called. I got that for $20. Um, it's also numbered, uh, let's try to make that out, 40, 43 out of 99. Uh, printer proof of Julio Rodriguez rookie card from Topps Gallery. Um, this one was 529. Uh, I saw one of these up at Salamanca, um, antique mall up in New York. Uh, there's a video I did of that that came out a couple weeks ago and they had this for seven bucks. I just knew I could get this cheaper on eBay. I saw that. I was like, I need, I probably should get one of those. And I did find one cheaper there. Um, this is a, um, Donruss elite, um, bronze Mookie Betts numbered 324 out of 349 got that for two bucks uh 2002 Donruss uh Diamond Kings uh silver foil Mike Schmidt uh this is numbered 162 out of 400 that cost me nine dollars uh ignore the price tag on here that must have been for some other card a Ronald Acuna Jr. A rookie card from Tops Now. Um, this one has number two Major League Prospect collects first hit in his de Major League debut. So this was issued on his uh, during his first or probably the same day as his first game in the big leagues. Uh, got this for ten dollars. Nolan Arenado doing a huge burp. This is from twenty. Uh, 16 i think uh this is from the living set i uh, got that one for four bucks okay let's move on to the next page and i'm gonna put that aside over there uh stadium club 2015 king griffey jr got that for a dollar uh 2002 tops 206 honus wagner got that for a dollar uh, Donruss Red Hollow of 2019 for Mookie Betts got that for a dollar. That's not numbered. A Juan Soto rookie card from Topps Gallery got that for $4.70. Uh, 1992 Ultra All Stars insert. This is Mark McGuire got that for a dollar 25. Uh, Dom DiMaggio on the 100 emoji, um, insert from 2023 Donruss this is numbered um where's that numbering at 76 out of 100 uh got that for 250 the Brooks Robinson one this is also numbered um 65 out of 100 that was a dollar 35 and the Mark McGuire from the same set this one is number 32 out of 100 that was two dollars and 34 cents uh, Bobby Witt Jr. This is a Bowman Chrome Draft Refractor. Got that for two bucks. Manny Machado. This is from Panini Prism. This is the USA Baseball set. This is from 2014. Uh, this was a dollar fifty. That's not numbered. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr. This is Bowman Chrome Prospects. This is a Mojo Parallel. That was two dollars and fifty cents. That's not numbered. Um. What we got here? Tops Archive Snapshots. This is from 2020. That's Willie Mays. Uh, that's not numbered. Uh, that one I got for $2.50. And this is from 2001 Tops. 2003 Tops Gallery Heritage. Uh, basically a reprint of his 52 Tops card in the gallery style format. Uh, that one was 5 bucks. Uh, 
pretty neat looking card, I thought. Topps Chrome before there was Topps. This is from 2001. This is Hannes Wagner. Got this for $250. Uh, that's what the backs of those look like. A purple parallel of uh, 2018 Topps Archives, Mike Piazza. This one I got for 3 bucks. It is numbered 60, sorry, out of focus, 67 out of 175. Uh, Adrian Beltre from 2018 Topps Living Set. That's 3 bucks. Uh, 2021 Bowman Neon Green, uh, Paul Goldschmidt. This is numbered 304 out of 399 Neon Green uh, Parallel. That one was um, 250 uh, This is a George Foster miscut card. You can't tell from the front. It looks perfectly centered on the front from 1982 Tops, but on the back it is miscut. You see Bobby Gritch's card over here. I got that for $1.50. That'll be added to my miscut collection. Uh, Tops Archives. Hank Aaron from 2001, $1.50. Uh, 2001 Upper Deck Hall of Fame Gallery of George Brett. This was $1.50, uh, not numbered. On to the next page. This is a Topps Chrome 1965 design from 2021 of uh, Justin Verlander. This is a refractor. That was 3 bucks. Uh, another... Tops, or I mean Donruss 100. This is from 2021. This is Matt Olson back when he was with the A's. He had a great year this year. So I thought I'd pick this up. That was 84 out of 100, I believe that says. And that I got for two bucks. A Luis Robert rookie card. This is from Bowman's Best Franchise Favorites from 2020. This one was five bucks. It's a refractor. Uh, Garrett Cole, uh, Carolina Blue. Um, Donruss Optic 2020. This was three bucks. We got an Adbert Alzale, um, Panini Mosaic Scripts from 2021. This is an auto. Got this for just four bucks. He had a pretty decent year as a reliever this year. Uh, so I saw this out there and I was like, I better grab that. He might have another good year next year. You never know. 1998 Tops Tech Paul O'Neill. This one cost me five bucks. And, uh, Got these two for six bucks total. It's Tops Now, Turn Back the Clock, Babe Ruth from 2020. And the 2020 Tops Gypsy Queen short print of Babe Ruth. So got both of those for six bucks. So that's the singles I got off of eBay. Now let's go over. Um, let's see, where is it? Right here. All right. Um, we'll start with some of the more recent stuff. This is... Uh, this came out in 1994. Not this card on the front. These were there to protect the uh, the set underneath. And these were two. And this was called the 1994 Donruss 84 Special Anniversary Edition. These were basically reprints from the 84 set that they issued, I guess, as an insert in 94 packs. I got this whole thing for ten bucks. Uh, some of these cards by themselves go for more than ten bucks. So there's Joe Carter, Robin Yount, George Brett, Ricky Henderson. Uh oh, Ricky's sticking to the card underneath. Oh, glad nothing happened there because the Nolan Ryan one I think is the most expensive one. I think this goes for about between twelve and twenty dollars maybe. I could be wrong. Cal Ripken, that's another higher price card in the set. Wade Boggs. Don Mattingly, I think goes for over 10 bucks. Ryan Sandberg and Tony Gwynn. So I thought that was a pretty good deal to get all of those for just 10 bucks. What is going on here? The Henderson card. I'll have to check to see what's going on there. It keeps on sticking to the Ryan. I'm going to put him on the bottom so that they don't stick to each other anymore. Uh, I'm going to put this one off to the side and I uh, wonder if there's something sticky under the bottom of the... Yeah, there is something sticky on the back here. I'll have to try to figure out what that is. <laughs> oh, well, maybe that's why it went for 10 bucks. Uh, this is also a more recent lot. This is from Throwback Thursday, and these were all cards that they reissued from 1979 tops. I'm, this came out a couple years ago. I don't, I can't really see the fine print on there without getting the magnifying glass, but these were all based on the 79 design. And a lot of these cards go for 
uh, between five and twenty-five dollars each from eBay comps that I checked out, but I got the entire set for thirty-three ninety-five. So I thought this was a good day, good way to get some of these. I, I do like the Throwback Thursday stuff. So we have Hank Aaron, uh, Willie Mays, Ted Williams, Cal Ripken Jr., Ken Griffey Jr., and Mariona Rivera. So that was a six-card set. Um. It's numbered um, 151 to 156, it looks like. Um, Throwback Thursday, they basically number the cards from the very first issue all the way to the last issue of the year. But they're like in subsets based on earlier designs. And uh, as you can see here, it's based on the Topps 1979 All-Star Baseball design, which is just part of the base set. Uh, let's put this over here. Put that over here. Get it out of the way. Um, 1972 tops. I bought this uh, five card lot uh, for thirty bucks, uh, and I thought they were in pretty pretty good shape for five or uh, thirty bucks for the whole thing. Got Bob Gibson. Uh, that's what the back of that is like. Steve Carlton, Lou Brock, Red Shane Deenst, and Ted Simmons. So I thought I got a good deal on that. Um, let's save this one for last. I bought two different 1977 Tops lots. Now these were sent to me in a clam clamshell cases and I decided to just take them out and I will eventually uh, sleeve these up at some point. Uh, but for now I just, I just left them safe in a nice pile. This was a lot of a hundred of them. I got this for 10 bucks. So there are some common cards in here. So we've got Jim Willoughby, uh, Mickey Stanley, Paul Splitorf, Cesar Geronimo, Vic Albury, Dave Roberts, Mike Wallace, Gorman Thomas. This I mostly bought this because there were a number of different semi-stars. I guess you could call Gorman. This was before Gorman Thomas had a beard and a mustache later on. He was much more clean-shaven back in 1977 than he was in the early 80s. Spaceman Bill Lee, uh, the Dodgers team card, Tom Lasorda, un unmarked on the back. Mike Hegan, Dave Pagan, Cookie Rojas, Jack Billingham, Jerry Terrell, Cliff Johnson, Chris Spire, uh, the Cubs team, again unmarked on the back. Uh, Bobby Gritch, that was one I was looking for. Enzo Hernandez, uh, Dave Kingman, I didn't have that one. Sal Bando didn't have that. Clay Carroll, I might have uh, another copy of that one. Gary Thomason, Al Roboski is one I didn't have. Notice it seems like it has a little bit of a miscut going on up here, so I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, Ed Bain. Uh, this is um, rookie cards of Craig Reynolds, Bob Baylor, Kiko Garcia. Those were the three I recognized there. I'm not sure who Alex Tavares was. Uh, Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer there. Uh, Ramon Hernandez, Fred Holdsworth, Randy Moffitt, Jim Bibby, Lamar Johnson, Braves team card unmarked, Joe Horner, um, Terry Forster, Mike Hargrove, Bobby Bonds, that was one I was missing, Joe Ferguson, Aurelio Rodriguez, Craig Kusick, Bart Johnson, Nelson Bryles, Bernie Carbell, Rob Andrews, Daryl Porter, Tom Underwood, Rusty Torres, Joe Sambito. That might be his rookie card. Not sure. Twins team unmarked. Willie McCovey. Uh, this made this whole thing worth it, I think. <laughs> Bob Watson, Frank Duffy, Gary Ross, Jerry Royster. I think that's his rookie card. Uh, Bill North was one I was looking for. Bruce Kim. Dan Ford, Doug Bird, uh, Unmarked Checklist, Alan Ashby, Enos Cabell, Raleigh Fingers. I don't think I had that one, so that was another reason to buy this. Larry Parrish, Bill Castro, Rick Rushell's one I was looking for. Lyman Bostock, another one I was looking for. Bill Bonham, Ellie Rodriguez, Al Morris, Mike Caldwell, Pedro Garcia, Andy Echebarren, Leon Roberts, Leo Foster, Steve Foucault, Jamie Quirk, 
Don Baylor was one I was looking for. Fergie Jenkins was another one I was looking for. Danny Frisella, Roy Stager, Jerry Devanen, Joe Torrey. I might have that one already. Dick Drago, Dave Rader. Uh, Rangers card, again, unmarked. Ken Boswell. Uh, turn back the clock. Keegan, Ralph Kiner. Marty Perez, Larvel Blanks, uh, Record Breaker, Mini Minoso. I did not have that one, so I was glad to get that in here. Uh, Gene Kleins, Tippy Martinez, Bill Plummer. John Mayberry was one I was looking for. Chris Knapp, Pete Redfern. Rodden Reed was another one I was looking for. I, I PC Ron Reed cards. He was a part of that 80s Phillies team. Dale Murray and George Scott was one I was looking for. Uh, now, this one was an actual auction win. I was uh, surprised to get it for just 10 bucks. Now, here's another group of 1977 ones, and I got this one, these for 20 bucks. And uh, it might not seem like a whole lot going on here, but you'll see why I thought this was a good grab. So Sid Manji, uh, Frank Tanana was one I was looking for. Boog Powell, I think I uh, recently got that. Don Hood, Dwayne Kuyper, Frank Duffy, Ron Pruitt, Rick Manning, Al Fitzmorris, Rick Manning again, Tom Buskey, Al Fitzmorris again, Tony Muser, Doug DeSensei's was one I was looking for. Mark Belanger was another one I was looking for. Lee May was another one I was looking for. Uh, Tippy Martinez was actually in that other pile. Paul Blair, another Tippy Martinez. Mike Quaylar was one I was looking for. Another Tippy Martinez and another Lee May. Uh, this is the Blue Jays um, team card. There is no uh, markings on the back. Jesse Jefferson, Dave Lemanchik, uh, Steve Hargan, Dave McKay. This is from the inaugural season of the Blue Jays. And again, this was uh, 99 cards. Uh, this is the Pete Vukovic rookie card. That was one I was looking for. Another Blue Jays team card. Uh, this one is marked. <laughs> Dave McKay, Jesse Jefferson, Steve Hargan, Doc Ellis. Mickey Rivers was one I was looking for. Rich Gossage was another one I was looking for. And the big one was this Bruce Suter rookie card. I couldn't believe that this was in this just for this $20 for 99 cards and they threw in this Bruce Sutter rookie card. Uh, it is not perfect, but it is in pretty good shape. Um, I'd say excellent mint maybe. So I was glad to pick that up. Gaylord Perry, uh, Leroy Stanton, Dave Collins, Pete Broberg, Larry Christensen. I'm always looking for uh, Phillies cards from this time period. Uh, Ollie Brown. Tom Underwood, and another Larry Christensen. Ken Henderson, Biff Pelkaroba, Jim Walford, otherwise known as Skeletor on the Past is Alive channel. <laughs> John Dacisto, Don Kessinger, Mike Norris, uh, not sure. I don't know if that's his rookie card or not. I'll have to look that one up. He later had a 20-win season, I think, in 1980 or 79 for the A's. Oops, I lost Doug Bird. Sorry about that, Doug. Uh, Al Cohens, Bill Laxton, Kurt Bavacqua, Bart Johnson, Dave Duncan. Uh, later was more known for his role as a uh, pitching coach for uh, most of um, uh, Tony Lasorda's teams. Uh, Jim Spencer, another Rich Gossage, Wayne Garland, Sid Manji again. Cubs card, that one is unmarked. Mike Garman, Paul Russell, Steve Swisher, Mike Garman, Mick Kelleher, Mick Kelleher, Daryl Knowles, Larry Bittner, Pete Lecoq, Jose Cardinal, Randy Hunley, Jerry Morales, Bart Johnson, Jim Essien, Terry Forster, Dave Duncan again, Francisco Barrios, Jim Essien, Rich Gossage again, there's three of them in here, Ken Kravick, Eric Solderholm, Alan Bannister. And I, I have no issues with having doubles i have many doubles here and there and i i include them in the pc bill fahey uh, roy howe john ellis dave motes especially if there's some little variation between them mike wallace doyle alexander roy howe jim sunberg that was one i was looking for burke campanaris was another one i was looking for uh dave motes mike wallace 
Jeff Terpko, another Jim Sundberg, Mario Guerrero, Frank Tanana, <laughs> Mike Miley. Uh, this one I did not have, Paul Russell and Rick Russell, Big League Brothers. I thought that was a pretty neat-looking card. Unfortunately, it looks like it has some damage to that one. But still, I'll put it in as a placeholder. Sid Manji, Dan Briggs, <laughs> and this Mark Friedrich rookie card looks like it's been run over by a steamroller. Wow, this one is really beat up. I, I knew this was in here. Uh, I did see all the pictures. They showed all the pictures on eBay. But still, uh, when I saw that Bruce Suter rookie card and uh, the total price was $20 and I could get a few more things to fill in holes for this set, I was like, why not? I will probably be looking for a better condition card of this down the road because I actually don't have that one yet. The Gary Ross, Sid Manji, Jerry Remy, and Tony Salata. So that is... Another stack of 1977 tops. So we got two stacks of these. And the last one we're going to go over is this collection of 1970 tops. This was a, a lot of 84 cards. And the price on this was only 40 bucks. So I was like, I got to grab this. So there's Denny McLean. Uh, condition wise, looks pretty good. Uh, Tony Canigliero. Again, looks really great. Uh, Bill Freehan, uh, there's some wear on the corners on that one, but I'm not going to complain for this price. Uh, Lou Brock, uh, the corners are really worn out on that one, but I'm not going to complain because, geez, 40 bucks for all this. There's a Lou Piniella, another Lou Piniella. Luis Aparicio, it you know has that line across the bottom. I don't, I guess that's considered a miscut. But still pretty good shape. Uh, Martin's Bunt Ends Deadlock. I uh, got two of those in here. There's a Buford Belts leadoff homer. Uh, 1970 Tom Seaver. Now this one does have some issues with this lower left corner. And the other corners aren't the best either. But I'm not going to complain because there are some really other, there are some other really great cards in here. Kurt Lafari. Paul Blair, the Willie McCovey looks really good, Andy Etchebarren, Cleet Boyer, Cleet Boyer again, uh, there's Boog Powell on this card, looks like the catcher here has a uh, coity unibrow going on, I'm not sure who the catcher is, the backs of these just show a box score, so I'll we'll have to look that one up and find out who that catcher is. Uh, here's Boog Powell scoring the winning run. Uh, here's another one. Um, is that Mike Quaylar? I think that's Mike Quaylar. Uh, Manny Sanguian, I think that's his second year card. No, third year card, third year card. I think his rookie's in 68. Sorry about that. But I didn't have any Manny Sanguian from this set, so it was a good pickup. The Billy Williams is really off center. Some might call it a miss. Yeah, it's a miscut. There's another card on the back here showing. So this will probably go into my miscut collection. Uh, Al Oliver, I think this is a second year card for him, if I'm not mistaken. So that was a nice pickup. Uh, Harmon Killebrew, a little bit worn, but still great. This is the Dave Cash rookie card. Uh, if you don't remember him, he played uh, second baseman for the Phillies in the 70s and put up some pretty decent numbers. Um, had a lot of bats. May have had one or... I know he had at least one 200-hit season, but he might have had two, but I'll have to look that one up. So that was nice to have that in there. Joe Rudy. Uh, Tim McCarver recently passed away. Uh, Jim Rowland. Mickey Lolich. Great pitcher from back in the day. Used to have the uh, career strikeouts leader for Southpaws until Steve Carlton broke that. Tom Tresh, Mark Belanger, Joe Pepitone with the Astros. There's Mike Quaylar there. Uh, Hall of Famer Jim Hunter. That's one I was missing. Frank Howard, great power hitter back in the day. Uh, Joe Morgan did not have that one, so I was glad to see that in there. Uh, glad to see this, Bob Gibson. That was one I was definitely didn't have. Uh, definitely, this is my earliest Greg Nettles card. I think the prior year was his rookie card, so that might be a second-year card for him. Uh, Willie Stargell, the lower right corner is kind of beat up on this, but still decent card. Uh, here's the uh, Sporting News, like I guess, uh, 
are these considered all-star cards, I think. There's lefty Sam McDowell, uh, Hall of Famer Juan Marichal, uh, catcher Bill Freehan, recently picked up his rookie card not that long ago, uh, Hall of Famer Frank Robinson, not one but two of him, uh, Hall of Famer Carl Yastrzemski, Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson, Hall of Famer Rod Carew, not one but two of them, uh, Boog Powell, Hall of Famer Willie McCovey, Hall of Famer Jim Palmer, Hall of Famer Bill Mazeroski, Don Buford, and Boog Powell finishes it off. So like I said, I got that whole thing for uh, 40 bucks. Um, I estimate that these might be worth between maybe 150 and 200 total. Uh, you can let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe, uh, maybe that's not so. I think retail on these might be over 300, but I, th I think they're probably more, more, um, more likely to be worth in the 150 to 200 range for the total thing. So I thought that was a wonderful pickup. Um, so, uh, geez, this has already gone past the 45 minute mark. I apologize for this taking so long, uh, but I should have done a recap about three weeks ago and it would have made it for a shorter video, but I finally have a little bit of time. So I'm filming now. Um, uh, not sure when this one's going to get loaded uh, maybe another week or two because I have, um, two more antique mall videos to post before this one. So this one may show up sometime after that. Um, and that's about it. So thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for another recap video, which I will try to film and post in November for my next month's worth of things that I found. Um, wish I had flea markets to go to. I know some of you folks, uh, like to film fr flea markets and do this in sort of this style, um, because there's so many people at them that you end up filming what you got at home. Um, so uh, let's stop yammering on and you can carry on <laughs> to whatever you want to do next. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Take care, everybody. Beep, beep.